Hey everyone, this is Kevin from thechesswebsite.com and today I'm going to be going over three chess engines you may not be familiar with that should help you improve your chess game. The first one's going to be on my website. It's more of a basic chess engine, but it's very easy to use. The second one is going to be an AI version that actually digs in and tells you uh, where you should be moving, what your opponent's thinking, the best lines, uh, gives you a lot more explanation. And the last one is going to be if you wanted to learn how to download your own chess engine, have its own UI, uh, instead of going out and having to buy an expensive one, you can actually get it for free online. So that's what we're going to be going over. The main reason is because the top two questions that I get asked all the time are one, Kevin, how do I get better at chess? And the second one is, do you recommend any chess software? These kind of go hand in hand because outside of just saying uh, to get better, just watch all of the software and spend a lot of time on the website. Analyzing your own games is a great way to improve. If you're just playing chess and you're never really analyzing your games and looking at positions and seeing where did I go wrong or how could I do better, uh, you're probably not going to progress as much as you should. So getting into chess engines is a great way to analyze your games in different positions so that you can improve your chess game. So the first one we're going to look at is on the chesswebsite.com. Now, hopefully, if you're watching this video, you're familiar with the website, but if not, it is just the chesswebsite.com. I will have links for all of these chess engines in the description below, but if you come to the website, you can scroll down. There's going to be a button here that says chess analysis. You can click on that, and it's going to take you to the chess engine on the website. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can use this. One is to paste in a PGN game, and PGN simply means it's going to show all the moves in a game. Typically, if you play, wherever you're playing, it will ask you if you want to download that game. It's going to download it as a PGN. Now, at the bottom here, it's going to ask you a couple things. Search depth, 20 moves is default, and time limit is one second. I usually go 99 moves here, and then for time limit, you may want to do something like four. The more seconds you have in here, the deeper analysis it's going to do, and you can hit analyze here. And it's going to analyze this game, and then you can go through every single move in the game and see what the computer thinks is going on. So in this case, you can see a strength evaluation of plus 0.3. Uh, that means that white is winning by approximately one third of a pawn. So not a huge advantage here, but if you go later on uh, and start to look at other moves, and you can see for each of these, it's analyzing it for about four seconds. The strength evaluation, uh, white's winning by a little bit more, and you can go uh, even further along, uh, and you can see that after queen e7, that white's winning by a lot more, by 4.3. That, that's a significant advantage. And then you can go back and look at different uh, moves and see where did black go wrong? Where did they make a mistake? And it will also give you recommended lines. So instead of making the mistake they made, maybe you want to go through and see where they could have gone. Another option you have is to do a custom board. So instead of doing a uh, move order uh, history, you can click on custom board and you can set up the board however you want. Now, if you want to do a couple moves, you can click on a piece uh, and then move forward. So you can set up the board this way. Or if you wanted to clear the board, you could hit clear board. It's going to start the game with two kings here. And then I can just click the material I want. So I can stick it on the board. Maybe I want a pawn here as well. Uh, queen here. And then you can see it's white to move. You can change that and I can hit analyze and it's going to analyze this position and then recommend uh, what white should do. And you can see strength evaluation. White has a significant advantage plus 20.2. It's also going to give you a recommended line uh, in case moves would continue. Uh, so you have queen to e5 uh, taking that material here. Uh, King D7 doesn't exactly have to move like this, but it'll show you how it could uh, continue from here. And White's probably just going to march the pawn up uh, the board, get another queen, checkmate pretty easily from there. So that is uh, the chess engine on the chesswebsite.com. Now, beyond the chesswebsite.com, there are some very powerful tools out there. One of them that I really like is decodechess.com. We'll have a link in the description below. And the reason I like this and I recommend it to people is it explains positions to people. Many times, especially if you're getting into chess, you don't even know what to do with some of the chess software out there. It tells you that white's winning in position and it gives you one recommended line, but you don't really know how to improve from that. You just say, okay, I, I see that this line is better, it says. This actually explains it. So if you click on import, and there's also other options you can you can play, uh, you can set up a specific board. But if you want to import one of your own games, 
you can paste in a game, so a PGN or an FEN. So at the same place that you would typically get a PGN, it will say, do you want to copy this position? You can click yes, and typically that's going to give you an FEN. I can paste this in and click import, and it's going to give me this board setup. And then I can click decode game, and it's going to decode this for me, this specific position, and recommend something to me, and then tell me why. So it says in this position, the best move is rook to c1. Now you may look at this first off and say, uh, the knight can take here on e7. Okay, that makes a lot of sense here. Uh, if they recapture with their knight, that's fine, but the queen can recapture here. Uh, so that looks like a good move. But here it's saying, in this position, the best move is rook to c1. It starts to tell you all the reasons why, but it gets even better because you can click on this plus button and it starts to break it down even more. So the idea is white wants to checkmate by starting out with knight takes on e7, but black can play queen takes on b1. Then after the knight takes here, you can start to see what will happen. So playing c1 tells you exactly. Before e7, it solves that problem. Then you can start to see what happens um, after you do that. So you can start to go through um, each of these positions and it tells you why it's good, how it could continue on the board. Also things you should pay attention to. Also gonna tell you what your in the intentions of your opponents are. So lots of different things that it's looking at. It's also going to be looking at different threats. Uh, you know, after you play C1, uh, what are things that you're going to be looking for? Uh, in this case, it's if it was Black's move, they're going to be looking to play Queen takes on B1 or Queen takes on G6. Um, good moves for White in this position. It says, hey, really, in this case, there's only one good move, and that's Rook here to C1. Sometimes it'll give you lots of options, and you can choose uh, which path you want to go down. Uh, but in this case, it says the best move is rook to c1. It also has different plans. So uh, one plan is knight to e7. You have queen takes on e7. Uh, but it's telling you, hey, those are your plans. But the best move still is rook to c1. It also has functionality. So where all the different pieces can go and the different concepts for you to be thinking about. So when I'm talking about chess uh, and I'm describing situations, I'm usually going over concepts. So things like getting your uh, knights in a position where they're in the center of the board and they're controlling more squares, getting your rooks to your opponent's seventh rank, those types of concepts, they're going to start to break all that down for you for every single position. So it's a great way uh, to analyze your games and start to see what they recommend and why they recommend it. If you wanted to import an entire game, you can do that as well. I can click on import. I can paste in a PGN. It's going to load that. You can even recognize the tournament it is from. I click on import here, and then you can see, I click on decode game, and it starts to analyze the entire game right here and you can even see if you scroll over each move here it's going to tell you how the game went meaning uh, by move 23 uh, you can see that white had a slight advantage 1.16 equates to about a pawn uh, advantage and then you can see at the very end here it went from 1 to 5.78 so we can start to click on a specific move you can do it over here as well and you can analyze that specific move. So you, if you click on this, you see it says explain the position on the board in depth. Uh, so that's where we really got into uh, finding out what different options white has, what options that black has, uh, what are the different threats that white has to worry about, and why it recommends the moves that it does. So this is a great tool to both analyze positions uh, as well as an entire game figuring out What's going on? How could I have done better? What are the things I should be thinking about? And all does it very, very quickly uh, with a very nice user interface. Uh, so some of the other things that you should be uh, using in this, you can play as well. Uh, so people always ask me, where do you go to play against a computer or something? If you're already in here, you can use this as well. Uh, you have lots of difficulties that you can choose in here. Uh, by default, it's gonna have you in the middle at five, but you can say, I wanna play the computer hard, uh, any of that. 
Uh, again, you can analyze that game if you want to, uh, see where you went wrong, see what the computer was doing. So lots of different options in decodechess.com. The last option I'm going to show you is if you actually wanted to run your own chess engine uh, on your computer. This is a little bit more advanced, but if you are looking for something like this, it's extremely easy. Uh, so I, I think once you start to do it, you'll see that it, it's not very difficult at all. Uh, and this can replace if you were thinking about going and buying some real expensive software. Uh, my guess is that this will solve uh, what you're doing and it doesn't cost anything. So with that said, uh, you can come here to stockfishchess.org. Uh, if you want to download the Windows version, you can download here, or you can just click on download. It does have multiple options. You can get it for Windows, Mac, Android, or Linux. Um, I use Windows, so I'm gonna be showing you what that looks like on Windows. But notice it says you will need to use your own UCI compatible chess program. There's a lot of different uh, UCI compatible chess programs. You can just do a quick Google search if you want to. A lot of people like uh, Arena Chess. Uh, I think it's fine. I've used it in the past, and so that's what I'm going to be demoing here. But just know that you have multiple options out there. And many of these, Arena included, they have their own uh, chess engine. So you don't have to use Stockfish, but it is one of the more popular ones out there. So I just want to show everyone what it would look like if you wanted to both download your own UCI-compatible chess program as well as use something like Stockfish. Now, after you download Arena and you unzip the file, you will see a folder structure that looks like this. I've put it in a folder called Chess Software, but you could put it anywhere on your computer. And then you can just run the application. And then you will see this interface come up right here. So there's lots of stuff that you can do in here. I'm not gonna do an entire in-depth video on all the different things you can do in here. Uh, if you would like to see that video, you can definitely let me know. Uh, but there's a few things that I will uh, touch on. The first one is uh, that you can you can play the computer. That, that may be obvious. Uh, but you can also uh, put in different positions. Uh, so I still have that PGN on my clipboard. You can put that position in here. Um, or that entire game in here. And then you can start to go through and look at that game. And then you can analyze that game. You can click on the analyze here. And it will start to analyze and show you what it would recommend for the next move. Uh, so that could be extremely helpful if you're looking uh, for that. But this currently is using the engine that comes with it. Uh, so this is the Arena uh, engine. If you wanted to use the Stockfish engine, you can come up here to engines and say install new engine. And then it's going to ask you where you want to, to get that engine. Now I've already come in and downloaded the Stockfish and then I have uh, unzipped that file as well. But then you can just find on your computer where that is. I can click on Stockfish right here. I can click on open. Uh, you can see it's a duplicate named only because I have already loaded this up. Uh, but then I can just say, yes, I want to load that one. And then you can now see that the engine it's running is Stockfish. Now, if I come up here to engines, I could say load engine. Uh, it's going to show you all of the engines uh, that I have. And I already had the Stockfish 10. That's why you see the, the duplicate here but it has by default a lot of different options. So very easy to go get Stockfish, then have your own UI like we have here, uh, and then run it. So you can analyze uh, an entire game. You can analyze positions. If you wanted to set something up, maybe you want to set up a position, uh, I can say, yes, I want to do that. I can clear the board if I want to, uh, and then it tells you here exactly how to set up the board. So if I, if I want my king here, and then using my right button, I can put the king here. And then with pawns, I could start to set up the board. I can put these over here. However you want to set the board set up, uh, you can do that, and then click OK. And then you can analyze this position, again, as we talked about. Um, there's other options that you have here. I'm not going to go over every single option that you have, uh, but this is a pretty robust tool. And, and you saw how quickly I did that. It didn't cost me any money to do that. Um, so if you are more advanced and you're looking for a chess engine to run yourself without paying a lot of money, 
Uh, I definitely recommend something like this, going and finding a uh, engine that you like and then a UI that you like. Be because again, there's lots of different options. You don't just have to use uh, the one I'm showing you right here. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, there's just so many different options. Uh, I'm showing three just because I don't honestly want the video to be uh, an hour long, but hopefully this will give you an idea of what's out there. Uh, let me know if there's others that you like or if there's a specific one you want me to go more in depth about and tell you how I may have used it in the past or would use it in the future um, if I was uh, you know, early in chess trying to get better and just trying to learn. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.